Hello everyone, in today's videos we are going to solve this cubic equation x cube minus 8 of x is equal to 8 and we have to find the value of the x which satisfy this cubic equation. Let us solve this. We can write it as x cube minus 8 of x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now in the next step we can rewrite it as x cube minus 2 of x square plus 2 of x square minus 8 of x minus 8 is equal to 0 as it doesn't impact on our previous equation now we can rewrite it as x cube plus 2 of x square minus 2 of x square minus 8 of x minus 8 is equal to 0 now in the next step from this term as well as from this term we can take out x square as common and we get x square here remaining only x plus 2 now we can take out minus 2 from this term as well as from this term and this term out and we get minus 2 time here remaining only x square and here remaining plus 4 of x plus 4 is equal to 0 now in the next step we can write it as x square times x plus 2 times minus 2 and it can be written as x square plus 2 times 2 of x plus 2 of 2 square is equal to 0. Now we can write it as x square times x plus 2 minus 2. A, it is in the form of a square plus 2 times a times b plus b square and it is equal to a plus b whole square as a plus b whole square it is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square now we use this formula here and we get x plus 2 whole square is equal to 0 now we get x plus 2 we can take out uh, from this term as well as from this term out and we get x plus 2 times here remaining x square minus 2 times here remaining x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now in the next step we can write it as x plus 2 times x square minus 2 of x minus 2 times 2 it become 4 is equal to 0. Here are two terms first term is x plus 2 and second term is x square minus 2 of x minus 4 is equal to 0. As it is in a quadratic equation, now on equating both term to 0 and we get x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x square minus 2 of x minus 4 is equal to 0. From this term, we get x is equal to minus 2 or it is in a quadratic equation and here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 4 now we get x is equal to minus b means that uh, minus times minus 2 plus minus square root of b square means that minus 2 whole square minus 4 ac 4 times a means 1 and c means minus 4 divided by 2 of a 2 of a means 2 times 1 now here is x is equal to minus times minus it become plus 2 plus minus square root of uh, 2 square means that 4 minus times minus plus and 4 times 4 it becomes 16 divided by 2. Now we can continue uh, this x is equal to uh, 2 plus minus square root of 16 plus 4 it become 20 divided by 2 now in the next step we can write it as uh, here is the value of the x is also x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 2 no x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus square root of we can write it as uh, 20 20 can be written as 4 times 5 4 times 5 20 divided by 2 now we know that square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b 
no we apply this identity here we get x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 5 divided by 2 no we get x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 it is equal to 2 square root of 5 divided by 2 now we get x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 2 divided by 2 plus minus 2 square root of 5 divided by 2 now we can cancel out this 2 by this 2 and this 2 by this 2 and our value of the x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 thus the value of the x is equal to minus 2 and 1 plus square root of 5 or 1 minus square root of 5 as it is a cubic equation there are five uh, there are five, three roots of x one is minus 2 second is 1 plus square root of 5 and third is 1 minus square root of 5 if uh, you are new here make sure that you to subscribe our channel for more informative videos see you in the next video till then bye